complete possession and strength were two factors which helped the Arona College girls completely shut out their opponent today. I'm Raul Kathwari reporting from Mozilla Field where the Arona College men's rugby team completely dominated against West Virginia University scoring 55 to 0. Coming off of a 5 and one record, it's no surprise that the Iona College Gales would bring their best foot forward when it came to play against the West Virginia Mountaineers. There was complete dominance this game as three tries were scored within the first half. Mike Morrow charged the field and scored a try within the first eight minutes of the game with help from an assist by Elliot Collins. Evan Stikos and Mike Marino quickly added to the score by scoring the second and third try of the game. Despite the shutout and scoring two whole tries, sophomore Mike Marino still believes that there's work to be done. Honestly, we need to improve on the coming out first 10 minutes and really taking it at them and uh, running straight chest to try on because uh, we didn't do too good of a job of that. Uh, I thought we were a little bit careless with the ball, too much 50-50 unsure passes. It's got to be all 100% take it in contact and just play through phase work. In his first game back since being out with a knee injury, senior Andrew Kasanovic bounced back in the second half of the game, scoring one try. You know, it was good to be back on my feet. Uh, it was fun playing with the guys. Uh, it was a lot of work, but definitely, you know, worked well together. We had to come back physical. We had to come back hitting hard. Uh, we had to be, you know, we had to be awake. We had to have a hard week. Uh, we just had to really focus this week and step up and just hit them hard. Head coach Bruce McLean still believes the team has a lot to work on, discipline being one of them. But discipline needs improvement, and... I think that we got to start playing as a team more, and I know that we scored 55 points, but West Virginia's definitely been struggling, and they have a lot of freshmen, and they're a very young team with a lot of inexperience, and we, and they were on the road to make it even more difficult, and we were, we played well at times, and we played dodgy at other times. A positive for us, when we had ball in hand, we, we did look threatening. The only unfortunate thing was we just didn't get ball in hand often enough. I think our possession was a lot less than we would have, we would have liked. I think what didn't work was um, our defensive patterns didn't quite click today. And, uh, you know, I guess our, our physicality and aggression and the ruck and the breakdown, we didn't, we didn't get clean ball that allowed us to, to recycle good clean ball and keep ball in hands. Greg Amity managed to score three conversions. Michael Scarcella and LeVar James help add to the Gales' 55-0 victory. Next week, the Gales take on Cutstown at home. Reporting for Iona College Rugby, I'm Morale Kathwari.